So, uh, Al, how can we pray for you in the nations? Ah, pray for us specifically here, or pray for Israel, or pray for Jerusalem. Okay, Every. there's there's something. There's a plaque uh, when you enter the church. It says, "Pray for the peace of Jerusalem." So I would say this is always a good thing to pray for, because if there's peace in Jerusalem, it means that there is peace everywhere. Because Jerusalem is kind of a an indication of the condition of the world. So uh, if you pray for this place, if you play, pray for Jerusalem, you're actually praying for the, the peace of the world mm -hmm. or the nations. You can always pray for uh, more guides. Mm -hmm. We always need more guides in different languages because right. the tourists come here from all over. And you also share like you have a lot of uh, israelis that come here as well so yeah they also mm -hmm. come here of course and there are many tour guides who know us right. who, who love to bring their people here for us as a community here to maintain the unity and the, the peace um mm -hmm. so that when people come in they will continue to feel or taste a little bit of the kingdom of god and mm -hmm. for financial support because we are basically supported by uh donors right so, as, as a heritage center right. specifically because you guide here for free you don't charge right people to right. come so yeah, it's free mm -hmm. yeah. which is wonderful i think so <laughs> yeah. well thank you so much al uh, so so let's keep al and the other guides of the heritage center in our prayers and and this whole place that is such a witness of the love and uh works of yeshua hamashiach so we bless you and thank you. Bless you. <laughs>